Investigators have begun examining the two black boxes from a Russian passenger plane that crashed in Egypt, killing all 224 people on board, including 17 children. In Russia, a three-day period of national mourning is underway. Son jung in reports. Plane fragments and the bodies of the victims have been found scattered over a large area in the northern part of the Sinai Peninsula. Russian aviation authorities have released a preliminary result after visiting the crash site. Evidence seems to show the aircraft broke apart in midair. The site of the crash occupies a very large territory, more than 20 square kilometers. All the signs show that the plane broke up in the air on a great altitude. Other officials made similar assessments but refrained from giving out any more details, saying it was too early to determine what had caused the disaster. A team of international experts has begun analyzing the contents of the flight's black box recorders that were recovered shortly after the crash. In the meantime, there have been conflicting reports on the plane's condition before it crashed. Egyptian officials initially indicated technical issues were the cause while dismissing a claim of responsibility issued by the Islamic State militant group. But they later reported there had been no sign of problems on board the flight. The conflicting statements have prompted several international airlines to divert their aircraft from the area for the time being. In Russia, flags are flying at half-staff as the country declared a three-day period of national mourning. People laid flowers and handwritten notes at the entrance of the airport in St. Petersburg, where the airliner was headed when it crashed 23 minutes after takeoff from Sheikh, killing all 224 people on board. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.